yet. All right, now try not to fall over. It is easier coming back because it's downhill. So I expect to see some speed from you guys since you have all the space, all right? Can I have a made up? Ready, set, go. What does he need, a bag? Oh, you can do Mom? it. Mom? Yeah. I did not fall at all. You can do it. Oh. Oh. Well, I've never seen that before. Hey, yo. How's it going? So what kind of contraption would this be used for? That's, uh, it's called the Paiute Deadfall. You can use a basket or you can use a, like a log or a rock. And you, you can build it as big as you want, but this, this size would be for like rabbit or grouse or uh, pheasant or anything like that. But you stick your bait on, the, on here. And the animal comes and starts messing with it. Okay. Then, yeah. That's cool. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't get that on tape, did you? I don't think so. <laughs> That's I love when y'all dress up like that. I love old fashioned cook stuff, but my grandma used to have one. Oh, it's got a swing, too. Is that slick, hey? Yeah, I didn't even know they made those. Yeah, that's like sliced bread. <laughs> Love it. The swivel on the stool. Oh, yeah, nice. I didn't even know they made those. So, I mean, granted, we missed in the water jacket, but we got a swivel. <laughs> <laughs> referred to as the sawmill location and that's towards the mine site itself hmm. which is a half mile away so it was like halfway between once they got the sawmill up and running they're able to do all the construction at the mine site itself any timbers or whatever they needed this right here is the superintendent of the captain's house that still stands it's not part of us but it's, it's privately owned still st <clears throat> still stands the pavement goes right to it right up to the mine site. The money still stopped. That's an old outhouse. <laughs> so good in here oh this smells so amazing solid cedar oh and it's so hot in here they got it actually going it's going oh they even fired up this wood fired sauna oh oh it's so hot in here it's actually going. it's actually going yes oh my god they went all out today you can see the wood burning down in there you can see it Oh, it's so hot here. It smells oh, like nothing but wonderful. cedar. Oh. oh, I think oh. I'm going to sit here for a minute. Oh. <sighs> With, I wonder where they got the rocks from. 
Here, we'll move out. Let me get this out, out of the outside. Oh. oh, you didn't have to leave. You could have sat in here with me. <laughs> it's too warm for me, Grandma. Oh. I can't believe they actually fired this up. Oh, it smells so good. This is a very old sauna. Oh, oh the smell of that cedar. Oh, I love that smell. <laughs> oh, that is absolutely amazing. They actually got the sauna. The sauna is actually fired up in there. <laughs> I'm kidding. Those are the jars I gotta fill up. <laughs> that is so cute. You got it. You got it. You got it. You got it. Oh, we got to go up to the window to get them. Okay. All right, let's get a cinnamon roll. Um, one coffee and one bottle of water. Cinnamon rolls are made on wood stuff. Fashion wood cooks. Okay. Just eleven. <clears throat> well, here's twelve. <laughs> Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. This is awesome. I'm gonna sit down right here. Okay. With some coffee. Coffee. Wood fired coffee on. 
stove and they made all these on the old wood stove. Mm -hmm. mm. Something about an old-fashioned wood cook stove makes everything taste better. Mm Or you can just make it dine on the paper without. Oh, if you sew oh, yeah. off the edge of this to your paper, that's then yeah. yeah. Uh, but not to come off though. But do the oh, that cedar smells so good. Or, this is one last. Okay, so then just sew to the edge of this. Yeah, we got a little hands-on here. Yeah, That's all right. Excellent. I love this. Yeah. And when was this established, this whole place? Hmm? 1800s? I, do you guys know the answer? When was this place established? Hmm? We're not... We're, we're just we're part time uh, We're so cranky volunteers. <laughs> 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 It's the 1800s. Sewing so machines were established in the 1850s. I think yeah. the the town was um, a mining encampment. I know it was will, here late uh, in the um, early 1900s, 1910 or something like that. Wow. I Some of our machines here are actually from that period too. Wow. Right, the very, very, very edge. You can sew right off the fabric, that's okay. There you go. Now I'm right on to that. And likewise, so do a few more stitches till you're all the way to the very edge. If you just use one yeah. fabric, it's probably better. Yes, we're gonna run out of it. See, while your kids are playing video games, these young ladies are learning a real trade. <laughs> And so will your camel man. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to turn a crank? Uh, no, just fishing poles. <laughs> I don't think I could do that, but definitely so much better. All right, let's give it a try. All right, how do we do <laughs> I told you. I'm you glad you talked me into it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now 
sew on to the piece of fabric together. Let's see if we can do it. Yes, it is. I've never used a sewing machine in my life. Like, and I'm using one that's older than I am. <laughs> you are. This one's from around 1910, 1912. Oh, this old number. America. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I can't believe this. <laughs> the things you get taught in history. So can you do a documentary on this? Yeah. Yeah, there you go. That is so awesome. I don't see what these young ladies are doing. Well, you can stay around, they'll talk you into it. I love it. All right. So now what do I do to keep my little thing here? Oh, to keep the same design just like it is? Oh, I'm done, yep, just like You're it is. You're done? Yep. Okay, then lift the needle up, grab that piece of fabric, and we'll slip that under there. Okay. And sew a little bit on that, and then you can cut yours off. Oh, Two threads, one on top job. and one on the bottom. Okay, so right here? Just yep. back her up? Yeah. Okay. Oh, there's another one. Yep, there it is. Because there's a bobbin, yeah, a thread, bottom and a bottom thread. thread. Uh, yep. Yeah, well, that's what Your bottom is. thread yeah. is in here. You're a neat. Oh, good I'll job. Show you. So you're it's on a little the camera, creature. not me. Violet. <laughs> but, but it's like a blob. <laughs> this oh, is where creature. the bobbin is held. And it's, if you look, peer down in there, while I'm putting, no, down here. Mm -hmm. as, no, as the needle goes down, right in here, You'll see it leaves a little loose oh, it blue does. thread. Yeah. The point of the shuttle catches it, and the blue thread crosses the bobbin thread. Oh my god, this is so this is That's easier than an electric one from the well, look of it. It's the it's same concept, but the, yes, being able to crank is much easier. Oh, well, and you can control it better. Exactly. And it's more fun. Yeah, right on. <laughs> your eyes and your hand work together without extra effort. <laughs> That's great. Whereas acceleration, you need extra effort. There it is, y'all. Stop me into it. I'm okay. Are I think you, you sure? I am sure. I mean, he didn't want to, and he loved it. <laughs> yes, I did. It yeah. was great. Thank you, ladies. Thank you, man. Are you related? That's yeah. my husband, actually. Well, now you should come and turn the crank. <laughs> this is so awesome. Wait a minute. Here, we take our flyer. Yeah. Because that is. Yeah, I'm just gonna. We have a store in Hancock. Oh. Okay. Awesome. We have about 30 machines in the store. They're for sale. And we also do projects on them. Um, so uh, people just call is your and say address they, and everything in here? It's on the back, yeah. And the cell phone is the best way to reach me. It's 322 Quincy. There you go, guys. You're interested in one of these old machines. You all heard it right here. Well, we're up here at Old Victoria. Used to be a homestead. The old mining towns, everything else. Look at this, all these old buildings. They're all collapsed now. But a lot of them we went in, like the sauna was still going. I love that kind of thing. I love adventuring. I just love it. And I told you here in Spirit State of Doors, we do a little bit of everything. The car in the way, ah, but still, the old building behind is awesome. There's plenty of buildings here. They're having a uh, big thing today. They dress up in the period, and the kids are playing little sack races and everything else. Come on, you can't beat that. You got to get some video of that kind of stuff. Cinnamon rolls. Our coffee all made on a wood stove. It's a periodical event. It's absolutely amazing. I am having such a good time here. <laughs> they were going to burn all these down. They were just going to burn them down. And I didn't worry about them anymore. But then somebody come in and they've been doing this ever since. And these kind of things where they have the periodical events, they attract a lot of people. People like me, uh, young kids. People who are just into this kind of thing. Oh, I love it. So I can see myself living in a cabin like that. <laughs> oh, yeah. And I just talked to Wendy this year. Oh, yeah. That's what I learned. And we lost Pam. Pam was in my oh, house. Oh, okay. Really? Did you sign you? Yes. 
Rosalie Trudeau. Oh, yeah. I think you can go upstairs. I hope so. Upstairs and take a look, see what they got. This beautiful little finished cabin. Oh, so cute. They're still restoring it and these events like this if you come to these events and you buy like a cinnamon roll some coffee it helps them to restore all these old buildings hi hi i'll get out of here everything was narrow look at that just beautiful They had huge families in little big places like this. Wow. Yes, I'm trying to find homes. But I mean, you the common things that were made universally. You know, like right, but if they can't take it here, check with the museum in town. I think there's also a museum in South Range. Oh, yeah, we got on that. Old mining bucket. What's got up inside there? <laughs> this was a lot of fun. We had a great time. Oh, seeing little kids dance and everything else. What an amazing thing. I hope you all like this video. We're going to run down now and get some dam shots and uh, maybe an old mine or two. I don't know. The old Victoria Dam. But it's new now, of course. But they kept the old building. And I love that. They even set it up where you could come out and fish. You could fish off the dock, launch a boat. There's a boat launch right there. You've got a couple of picnic tables, a little fire pit where you could sit and have a, where you could literally sit and have a barbecue if you wanted to. See, power companies, up here anyway. They open it all up where you can use it without any time you want to. There's the backside of that old dam. It's not even open today. And it's raining like crazy. Maybe I'll open it later. <laughs> I've seen a lot of things in the woods, but camp. There it is. Oh, that is just too cute. <laughs> the old timers are getting kicked out of that. Wow. <laughs> we just got back from that uh, the old Victoria Mines houses. Yeah, them houses were built back in 1899. And they served as homes for the miners during the copper rush back in the day. It was awesome to see them getting their original garb and all that stuff. I love that. The kids were dancing and they were having games up there. We just couldn't pass it up. We had to get up there and check that out. Of course, get us a little cinnamon roll and coffee. <laughs> all made on them wood stoves. I, I love that. And I love that old traditional stuff. And I love them to get the kids involved in that kind of thing. You know, little sack races and all that stuff. I hope you enjoyed that. That was cute. I loved it. I hope you enjoyed it as well. I even sewed a little bit in that one, huh? That was something to see. All right. Love y'all. Be good.